Hello folks, um, I really, <laughs> I really want to say Happy New Year right now, but it isn't actually video year quite yet for me, and let's face it, the majority of the time that this video is like existing on the internet will be just long after this New Year's has passed, so... <laughs> So heck it, whenever you happen to be tuning in, welcome to a new cosplay challenge that I've created for myself that I am calling 12 Months 12 Cosplays. Hey, hey everyone, my name is Mad Dog and I run this little cosplay channel called Telekinetic Maniac. Here on this channel, I make a whole variety of cosplay-related content, including work logs, guides, and tutorials, to convention and event vlogs, to cosplay discussions. But today I'm actually going to be talking solely about myself <laughs> and my personal cosplay and cosplay-related endeavors over the past couple years, as well as my plans for the new year, or what you already know as 12 months, 12 cosplays. As usual, timestamps are available in the description, so if you are impulsive like me and just want to skip to the challenge already, I am not gonna stop you. <laughs> also, quick heads up, it is the end of the year, so I'm trying to spend as little time filming and editing as possible. So I'm in my little, like, gaming stream makeup and setup because I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be filming this and then jumping right into that, and I, I don't really want to deal with the whole setup, my filming setup, and then collapse it and then set up my stream setup thing, like, that just sounds not fun. And I think I'm probably gonna do most of this video as a voiceover set to my Crollo gold work, as that's one of the things that I'm actually trying to finish for January, and it is just, it is just much easier to do audio only rather than audio and visual and, like, you know, the whole, the whole time thing. You, like, you know the drill. So just a nice, chill, relaxing end of the year video for me that I will fully be making up for next week. If you want any more information on that, you're gonna have to stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, let's heckin' go. <laughs> All right, for the folks who are still with me, let's start with the absolute mess this channel has been for the past couple years, cause it's been bad. <laughs> And it's because I have been so burnt out, as I'm sure anyone who's glanced at this channel or like my Instagram or whatever at any point in the last couple years can can tell. A couple random con vlogs from random events that took place ages ago before they were uploaded, like why did I edit and upload them right, right then? A whole attempted comeback right before months of radio silence. Those weekly work logs that <laughs> No, you did not hallucinate those, even though they aren't public anymore. Uh, I just realized how unbelievably unsustainable they were for me and didn't want to mislead anyone into thinking there might ever be any more of those weekly work logs ever again, ever. That series has, that's been cut short. They're not coming back, guys. <laughs> oh my lord, this channel has been filled with one self-sabotage after another. While I don't want to get too personal here on the internet for the sake of my own privacy and employability, holy shit, capitalism is a hellhole, it's been really bad. It started when I was finishing my senior thesis back in the spring of 2019, and at that time I thought I just needed a little break over the upcoming summer. But it wasn't just a lack of motivation or creativity or something that could be resolved with a little break. It was true burnout, and true burnout is absolutely debilitating. For the longest time, I hated doing the things that I used to love. I hated almost everything because I was I was just burnt out. And even after things started improving and I just started kind of naturally feeling better with time, there were still so many ups and downs. And especially because of that certain world event, you know, that thing that it just really threw a wrench in the works of me, like even realizing the extent of my own burnout, let alone recovering from it. It has been rough and maybe one day I'll feel comfortable talking about it a bit more. But for now, this is a chill end of the year video for me, so I hope this says all that needs to be said. This is gonna sound just dumb as hell, <laughs> but ever since I was a kid and I was old enough to start actually really comprehending the lyrics I was hearing in my favorite songs, I've really vibed with the song No One Lives Forever by the band Oingo Boingo. Yes, like Oingo Boingo and JoJo's Don't At Me. <laughs> I mean, I already vibed to that song, like, it's it's a bop, but even more so when I really started listening to the lyrics. No One Lives Forever has become, in a way, my mantra. 
Living in the present and enjoying myself became important to me because of that song. The desire to live like that started way back when and developed with me and grew stronger as I grew until it became a part of me. And it's a trait that's, it really is fully a part of me and it's really important to me because I don't know when it's just gonna end for me or anything else for that matter or for anyone that I care about. But when I became as burnt out as I did, I lost that quality within myself. And I only just recently have really come to terms with that. That realization was a turning point for me. Moving forward, I'm gonna take my life back. I may have lost that trait in myself for a time. I became burnt out and afraid and lost literal years of my life. But realizing this has allowed me to kind of mourn those years and learn to move on and focus on living in the present again. And I'm going to redevelop that trait and myself again. Lately, I genuinely feel better than I have in a long, long time, and I think it really shows in my actions. Even in just this little, like, cosplay area of the internet, I've started making videos again, which I'm genuinely excited to make. I'm writing about topics and sticking to a schedule instead of just trying to relive old events by editing through my previous con footage. I've bought tickets to some upcoming conventions, Arisia Katsukon, PAX East, and Anime Boston to be precise, and hopefully Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest. Fing fingers crossed, just big fingers crossed. If I don't go to that convention, I'm gonna be so sad. Fingers crossed that it's gonna be added to this list. <laughs> and I'm really excited to hang out with friends at these events and hopefully make some new ones. And you're not gonna see it on this channel like this, for real, this is the cosplay channel, cosplay area of the internet. <laughs> but I'm back to participating in my other hobbies as well, and it's really made a difference within me. These things are definitely not all better. They aren't the way they used to be, and I doubt they ever truly will be, but they are better. I don't know exactly what the future will bring, but no one lives forever, and burnout isn't gonna stop me from living while I can anymore. This challenge, 12 months, 12 cosplays, is exactly what it sounds like. I'm gonna challenge myself to put together one cosplay for every month of 2023. By taking on this challenge, I hope to be able to consistently, actively participate in my favorite hobby cosplay, and to really, truly heal from my burnout. But even if I don't heal completely, I hope the consistent participation is a step forward. It already feels like it, but I want to ensure that it is. At the beginning of each month, I intend to compile a vlog-style work log update video of what I accomplished the previous month. So starting in February, talking about January, and ending next January, talking about December. And if all goes according to Keikaku, each vlog will showcase a completed cosplay, giving us 12 months and 12 cosplays. I am just going for it. I am taking on this challenge. Whether I create amazing things or end up last minute buying mediocre stuff to just throw something together, I'm gonna try to actively create and actively heal. And if you're looking for a new challenge like this for any reason whatsoever, it doesn't have to be burnout, honestly, I really hope for your sake it's not, I invite you to please join me on this little journey to literally cosplay or work on cosplay alongside me with each monthly update. Or if you're stumbling upon this video like far, far in the future, <laughs> Feel free to binge as you work through whatever journey you are currently taking. Well, that's all from me for this week, folks. <laughs> I know this video was a little bit weird as it focused entirely on me, but to make up for it, I will be answering your questions about cosplay competitions for the entire month of January. You heard that right. Four flippin' videos filled with competition, tips and tricks and tutorials, and just, oh my gosh, I hope it is everything that you cosplay competitors have ever wanted because I just, I have so much in store. And hey, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I do, I do feel like I know a thing or two about cosplay competitions, both like as a competitor and a judge, so there is that. <laughs> anyway, my Instagram people, they already know about this and they already asked me a ton of questions, of which I've started to write out long format answers to already. But if you have anything that you'd like answered about cosplay competitions, feel free to drop it in the comments. And feel free to keep those questions coming all January, like I'd, I'd love to do some follow-ups. If you just can't wait for these competition videos and need more cosplay content now, check out my channel and especially check out last week's video where I talk about why cosplay accuracy matters. Ooh, ooh. Is this a hot take over right here? Honestly, no, it's not. <laughs> and I would fully recommend watching that video before judging it. <laughs> I talk a lot about stuff that I think should just be more commonplace to talk about within the cosplay community, and I hope the points I bring up might offer you some insight on how to enjoy your own cosplay to the utmost, and also enjoy the works of others. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, annoying bell on your way out. <laughs> And consider sharing this video with a friend, as all those small actions that you can take are actually really powerful for this little channel. Thank you for watching, folks. Good luck on your personal cosplay journeys. And until next week, Happy New Year, if it's applicable to you. <laughs> and I'll see you on the con floor.